Did you miscalculate your poly count when creating your model? Is your boss angry because you only know destructive webflows on decreasing your poly count? Do you have no idea what you're doing? Well then, I might be able to help you. Sort of. Alright, hello there and welcome back to this quick overview video on poly count reduction. This one is really going to be quick as there are not many ways to do this in Blender in a non-destructive way. Some you've seen already, but I don't think that's the result you want to achieve when reducing your polys. And yeah, let me quickly show you two main ways to reduce your polys. The first one before texturing and the last one after your texturing is already done and you want to create LODs for example. Alright, so this first method is especially useful if you have been a little bit reckless with uh, creating loop cuts and you feel like you have too many loop cuts in your mesh. You can use this method to reduce the loop cuts and also reduce, for example, the amount of edges or decrease the general roundness of a model. If you feel like it's not really necessary to have so many edges to make it round, especially when viewing models from further away. So for that purpose, you select two vertices, hit Alt and M, and then just select where you want them to merge at the first, at the last vertice, at the center. And you can repeat this process over and over until you're finished and have reduced it to a minimum of necessary polys. This is obviously only possible if you've not yet created your texture. So you should basically reduce your poly count as early as possible before starting to texture and so on. Now what if the magic already happened and you created your beautiful texture and you don't want to mess it up and stretch it by deleting some edges? For that purpose Blender offers a very very useful tool, dissolving edges and vertices. So the first thing you need to do is select the edges you like to dissolve. Keep in mind to not select um, seamed edges as this might ruin your UV map. Select those edges, search for dissolve edges and afterwards change your selection to vertices and then hit dissolve vertices. After that you've just decreased your model by a large amount of polys, of tries especially, without actually affecting the UV unwrap and the texture. So it's really those two simple steps to reduce your poly count by a lot. The first step will be used I think quite frequently in the asset creation tutorials as when we create loop cuts oftentimes we do this to to create outward or inward extrusions. And yeah, basically those loop cuts are necessary then, but we can kind of delete them afterwards with this merging method. So probably the best advice I can give you is to plan your geometry ahead so you don't have to reduce the poly count afterwards. But if you for example have to create LOD um, levels, you need to reduce models which you didn't think you need to reduce and so on, this last method might especially be useful for you. Alright, so that's already it, and thanks for watching!